My parents are both Mexican. They came here as immigrants um, in 1971. I am the son of a butcher who was a butcher for 36 years. My mother was a deli manager for about 29 years. I have seen the struggles that our parents went through. Until I was six years of age, we moved a lot. Um, typical immigrant family just kind of looking for opportunities. And they came to the United States looking for a better opportunity for their family. My father's side of the family immigrated from Cuba in the late 1950s into Miami, moved to Las Vegas in the early 1960s, and sort of settled in here. I grew up as a first generation student going through school. I I learned English while I was at school and with my family. Um, I see myself reflected in this community. Something that I didn't have when I was going to school is to have those role models of other Latinos. In my first grade class, there was like three Latinos in the whole class. But now to go in a classroom over here in my Senate district, um, these kids are seeing people that look like them. And I think it's so important for us to have teachers who look and have similar experiences than our students. It's much easier to build bridges. You know, you look at Las Vegas, it's one of the largest populations of, of Latinos that we have. One of the things I love the most about living in Las Vegas is the wealth of diversity that we have. What's kept me here, I think, more than anything else is family and friends. This is the place that I know. I'm very tied into the community here just because, again, it's become our home. I am very proud of my heritage. I'm very proud of where I come from, the languages that I speak, my family's practices, um, and Colombia in general, which is where I was born. My nonprofit of choice is going to be Opportunity Village. Um, uh, you know, number one, I've had the opportunity to serve on Opportunity Village for almost 10 years now. I think it's a remarkable organization. But you know, I think as much as anything, everything that Cox has done uh, for that organization, integrating in work opportunities uh, for people living uh, with disabilities, has just been remarkable. I selected the, the Boy Scouts of the Las Vegas Area Council. My three boys have all earned the Eagle Scout Award um, and I've seen the great um, influence that that has been in their lives to teach them character. I'm honored and I'm really grateful to be able to select the Booker uh, Elementary School Garden. This contribution is going to help the preschool and the kindergarten uh, teams build a pollinator garden so that the kids can study butterflies and insects and hummingbirds. Um, but I have selected the Nevada Childhood, Childhood Cancer Foundation um, as a nonprofit to receive the $1,000. Um, know, I, I think the, the money will go a long way in helping folks who are in need going through a journey that, that I've gone through as well. And I just want to say thank you to Cox for you know, bestowing not only this honor, but you know, allowing me to actually name this, this nonprofit. Thank you, Cox Communications. Thank you, Cox Communications, and muchas gracias, Cox Communications.